If, when I first got out of the University of Florida, the only thing I wanted to do is get as far away from this institution as I can get because I had no real pleasant memories. If you stop and think about it, uh, students in that day, and not even today, in historically black colleges, for example, when they graduate, they have classmates, oh yeah, old John was from this city, or he was in my fraternity, or whatever, you know. We hung out together. I had none of that. My, my college uh, slate is just white clean, because there was nobody but me. Um, I will tell you this, though. I think it, I know it made me a stronger person. I mean, when I got out of this college and this University of Florida and the law school, I just didn't think there was anything I could not accomplish if I put my mind to it. I didn't tell people I graduated from the University of Florida because, first of all, a lot of black people might not have even they might have known about the University of Florida, but that was a foreign and a far-fetched idea. It was one of those things that the members of the University of Florida, my experience here, was very, very traumatic at times. And so I, I wasn't ranting and raving. I mean, I didn't have the same kind of joy uh, and pride when I said I had graduated from the University of Florida as a student from FAMU or Bethune Cookman. When I'm at the University of Florida, I did not feel, I didn't have a feeling of belonging. And so that's why, you know, you just don't dredge up stuff and talk about stuff that you don't feel good about. And I had been asked to leave the University of Florida College of Nursing. First of all, I had the experience of fainting in one of my classes. And when I fainted, I was sent to uh, the infirmary. The infirmary sent me down the hill to a neurologist to check it out to see if I had seizures. Well, they ended up diagnosing me diagnosed, uh, with a diagnosis saying that I had uh, the little seizures, pedimol seizures. And so they put me on Dexedrine, which is an upper, in the morning, and phenobarbital, which is a, a sedative for the brain, at night. And so I was a mess. And so one day, one of the graduate nursing instructors had an opportunity to fill in for one of the undergrad instructors. And so she saw my state. I mean, she just was able to look at me and see that something wasn't right. And so she asked me to stay over. And I did. And you can see this is still very much very painful for me because I didn't have seizures. Right. But yet, you know, I was treated for seizures. They could have easily put me on Valium, a Librum, one of the um, anti-anxiety medications or they could have sent me to counseling. Shortly after that I was asked, I was called in by the Dean, Dean Smith and the assistant Dean was there and they invited me or they gave me an opportunity to withdraw and invited me to go to FAMU. They said, they, they couched it this way, they said, we feel that you would probably do better in an environment where they're more like you. Not one time did they offer me any tutoring. Not one time did they say, Evelyn, we're going to assign you to Mrs. Doe. And Instructor Doe is going to, you know, be there for you. Not one time. But they did invite me to go someplace else to finish my education. Now, I didn't invite myself to the University of Florida. I was extended an invitation. Now, the same people who extended me an invitation also extended me an invitation to leave. You've just listened to an audio clip from the Samuel Proctor Oral History Program's diverse collection of oral history interviews as part of our 50 Years, 50 Faces fundraising campaign. In the last 50 years since the program's founding in 1967, SPOP has collected over 7,000 interviews, 
as well as provided equitable fieldwork opportunities for students. To support our program's mission to document the voices of people from all walks of life, visit our donation page through the link in the description, or visit our website at oral.history.ufl.edu. That's oral.history.ufl.edu. SPOP. One community, many voices.